Welcome to On This Day. My name is TJ and I'm your host. In the next few minutes, I'm going to be sharing with you the very best of everything that's happened on this day throughout history. The 18th of February is a birthday, an anniversary, or just a good day. If you're just interested in what's happened on the 18th of February, I hope you're having a great day. And if you are new to the World Channel, welcome and happy days. So let's find out together everything that's happened on the 18th of February. In 1930, Pluto was discovered. Astronomer Clyde Tomlove located a new planet whilst in the observatory in Flagstaff, in Flagstaff Arizona named it after the Greek god of the underworld, Pluto. It has since been downgraded to a dwarf planet, so it's not as important, but mm, interesting. In 1478, George, the Duke of Clarence, this is not a picture of him, this is just a coat of his arms. I can't actually find a version of him, which is copyright free. <laughs> convicted of treason against his older brother, Edward IV of England, and was privately executed in the Tower of London, allegedly by being drowned in a butt of wine. Buttload is quite a funny phrase and I've used it in the past. I never really understood what it means. So bonus fact, buttload is around about 1,700 litres. That's a lot of wine. In 1879, sculptor Frederick Buffholdy was awarded a patent for his design for the Statue of Liberty. In 1855, Mark Twain published The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. I've never seen Huckleberry Finn, but I've seen the Simpsons episode from Treehouse of Horrors where they, they, they go on the adventure. So, you know, I've kind of... I've kind of seen it. In 1901, Winston Churchill made his maiden speech in the British House of Commons. Bonus fact about this exact photo, uh, when you think of Winston Churchill, you actually think of this photo, or I do anyway. Uh, this photo was taken in 1941, and it looks quite, he's got a growl on his face, and he's quite annoyed. And the reason he's annoyed is because he didn't know whose photo was going to be taken, and just before the photo was taken, the photographer took the cigar out of his mouth and then took the photo. So that rage on his face is rage with the photographer that took the cigar out of his mouth. The more you know. In 1911, the first official flight with air mail takes place from British India when Henry Paquette, a 23-year-old pilot, delivered 6,500 letters to Naniana, definitely said that name wrong, about 10 kilometres away. Only a short distance, but it was the first time that air mail was ever a thing. So it's quite interesting, I suppose. In 1951, Nepal became a constitutional monarchy. Just in case you didn't know what a, one of them was, a constitutional monarchy is a formal monarchy in which the monarchy exercises authority in accordance with a written or unwritten constitution. This is the best photo of Nepal I could find. Uh, I couldn't find the flag for whatever reason, uh, but this is a beautiful photo of Nepal. Also, a constitutional monarchy is what the UK has. So we have a monarchy, but we also have a parliament. So they have similar to what we have, if not exactly the same as what we have. In 1973, a 54kg octopus measuring a whopping 7 metres across was captured in the Hood Canal in Washington. This isn't the 54kg one, but I just really like the photo. In 1978, the first Ironman triathlon took place in Kona, Kona Hawaii. An Ironman is where they do the swimming, then do the bike ride, and then do the run. There is nothing fun about it, but, you know... Each to their own, I suppose. In 1979, snow fell for the first time in the Sahara Desert. In 1986, an anti-smoking ad aired for the first time on TV, featuring Yul Brenner, who died of smoking-induced lung cancer in 1985. I couldn't find a photo of him that was free to you, so uh, here's a concrete version of him in statue form. You know who Yul Brenner is, I imagine. If you don't, Google him. He's done loads of stuff. In 2009, English fant <laughs> English fant English fantasy author, yeah, Terry Pratchett, received a knighthood from Queen Elizabeth II at Buckingham Palace. In 1503, Henry Tudor, who would later become King Henry VIII, you definitely know who he is, was made the Prince of Wales. In 1981, Margaret Thatcher's Conservative government withdrew plans to close 23 pits in the first major U-turn since coming to power two years earlier. By pits, I of course mean mines. Uh, it was a massive part of history, which I highly recommend you Google. Arthur Scargill, um, or even Ricky Tomlinson, he was involved. And it's something that I highly recommend you Google. In 2021, NASA's Perseverance rover landed on Mars in the Jericho Crater on a mission to find microfossils. Can't find an exact photo of the actual Mars rover itself, um, which is copyright free. Uh, here's a picture of Mars. Uh, I hope that helps. It's something that I highly recommend you Google. In 2005, fox hunting with dogs became a lingual became illegal in England and Wales, which was bitterly opposed by the Countryside Alliance, which supported fox hunting. In 2011, the small town of Speed, Australia, changed its name for a month. The 45 inhabitants of Speed 
agreed to change the town's name to Speed Kills for a month for publicity during a road safety campaign. In 1990, Freddie Mercury made his final appearance on stage when he was joined by the rest of Queen to collect the Brit Award for Outstanding Contribution to Music. So a lot of people were born on the 18th of February, including American rapper and producer Dr. Dre, Italian automotive manufacturer Enzo Ferrari, actor and star of Greece John Travolta. I know he's done loads of other stuff, but that's where I know him from. And that's where this picture's from. Football's Sir Bobby Robson, Mary Tudor. Um, yeah, you wouldn't know that name, but I suppose to me and you, she's known as Bloody Mary. Another one that I highly recommend you Google. And finally, footballers Gary Neville. Today's been the 18th of February. I hope you enjoyed the video. These are taking a lot longer to do just because my setup slightly changed and I'm still getting used to including the photos. This is something that's really difficult to do. If you have done this before and you kind of think, oh, you need struggling, you need a bit of help, please feel free. Drop me a message. Uh, someone dropped me a message the other day about the copyright photos, which I knew nothing about. That's why in the photo down below or the description down below, you'll see loads of attributions um, and where I found the photo. Uh, just because apparently that's a thing which I didn't know. But today's been the 18th of February. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing on the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I shall see you again tomorrow. Peace.